The Tata Group and Singapore Airlines have announced the merger of India's two and only full-service airlines, Air India and Vistara. Since Tata Sons bought Air India towards the start of the year, there have been questions about the business strategies of all the airlines under its brand. More recently, speculation began to build that Vistara would be merged with Air India, a decision that has now been confirmed by both Singapore Airlines and the Tatas. Let's look at this major news in today's video. India is all set to get a bigger full-service airline, a consolidated product formed by bringing together Air India and Vistara. And that's not all. Singapore Airlines, or SIA, too, will participate in the process by claiming a 25.1% share in the eventual entity. Like most major airline mergers, this deal will take some time to complete. Indeed, the transaction is estimated to be completed by March 2024. Vistara is a joint venture between the Tata Group and Singapore Airlines. SIA partnered with the Tata Group years before the Air India deal took shape to tap the promising domestic market in India and owns 49% of Vistara. While its stake in the upcoming merged airline will be reduced to 25.1%, it is hoping to still reap the benefits of what is speculated to be a major player in the Indian aviation market. Singapore Airlines is fully committed to the merger and is investing $250 million as part of the transaction. Go Chun Pong, Chief Executive Officer of Singapore Airlines, commented, Our collaboration with Tata Sons to set up Vistara in 2013 resulted in a market-leading full-service carrier. With this merger, we have an exciting opportunity to deepen our relationship and participate directly in an exciting new growth phase in India's aviation market. Singapore Airlines and Tata have also agreed to participate in additional capital injections, if required, to fund the growth and operations of the enlarged Air India in the coming years. Based on SIA's 25.1% stake post-completion, the airline could inject additional capital of $615 million, payable only after the completion of the merger. With this consolidation, Air India will become the country's second largest carrier and a much stronger player for both domestic and international operations, with a combined fleet of more than 215 aircraft. While Vistara will benefit from all the valuable slots and air traffic rights at domestic and international airports that Air India brings to the table, Air India will have Vistara's operational capabilities, customer base, and a strong focus on customer service. The deal will also bring Air India's fleet size closer to Indigo and its over 280 aircraft. With both Air India and Indigo slated to receive more planes in the coming years, the competition is expected to get fierce. For years, Indigo's position as India's top airline has remained unchallenged, and while that is not likely to change anytime soon, a consolidated Tata carrier under new leadership will certainly shake things up. What do you think about this announcement? What are your expectations from a bigger Air India? Please leave your comments below. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.